Welcome back, Building with Zach here, and it's been a long time, but today we are going to be making a rain barrel system. So I'll show you the materials you'll need, what I got, and how we're going to do it. Okay, so I did some research, and I called about 18 car washes, and I finally got these. They're 55-gallon barrels. So these two had wax in them and these two had an alkalinity booster so I'll have to be careful when I'm washing these because it can burn you um, so I'm gonna cut off the top to this one and wash it all out and then these I'll just stick a hose in and run it for a little bit so I'll, sh I'll show you when I'm all done with that okay so what I did is instead of draining it into our storm drain since it's a bunch of like chemicals and acid and stuff what I did is I filled them all up and then what I've been doing is I've been siphoning it out into our basement and we have a sewer clean out down in our basement and I just unscrewed the cap and threw the hose down in there so all of this water will be treated so it's been about three hours, and I have one barrel done. It was right there. And I still have to drain that. Then I have to empty this whole thing and that whole thing. So this is going to be like four hours. Okay, so here's the sure clean out, and I'm doing the blue bucket right now. Look at how blue that is. In case you're curious, that's what it looks like. So let me try to focus it. Yep, yeah, that's what it's doing. Okay, so, sorry the sun's in my eyes, <laughs> but notice the background behind me? Looks a little different, doesn't it? It's because it's been two months since I last picked up this project, so we are gonna finish it today. Well, you'll see. Okay, so here's what I mean. Long story short, I forgot I made this video, I got them done, and here we are. But I will show you what I did, and it's pretty simple if you want to do it yourself. So, basically on the bottom, I have T's connecting them in. And this one, I have a drain right here for when I want to drain it out for the winter. I don't know if I can stop it with one hand. Shoot. Nope, I can. So, for this to work, I have a utility pump down in there. And that comes up here it just pressurizes my my hose so I can use it for whatever I need to. Um, so that's basically it. And it works great. I mean, it has a little water in the dirt in the bottom. But that's all from this. This is my pump station. <laughs> pump station in quotation marks. Um, so all my drains come into here and then that pumps it into the bins. But, yep, that's how all the dirt gets in. So, I'll see you next time on the next project. Goodbye. Believe it or not, it is December 30th. It Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. And I lost this video, I found it, so I'd just like to do a quick update on it. Um, this, um, ball valve here to drain it for the winter works amazing. You need to add that if you're going to do this in somewhere that freezes. Somewhere like Florida, you don't have to do that. Um, so I've just winterized it. They're all drained. The pump's out. Um, just some, just a little bit of antifreeze in the bottom. Um made the whole place nice there's pea gravel here 
all this is mulched. I know you probably can't see it. This is the that dry river bed we did. Um, it's doing good. Um, and then this is the pump station. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just wanted to let you know they're doing good. And they worked me the whole season. It's been six months since I first started this video. So, just wanted to tell you they're all good. doing good.